let's talk about the line tool in our drawing tools for just a minute. I'm going to select a straight line here. I'm going to hold down my shift key and just draw that out so that it is perfectly horizontal. Now when we go to the sun panel, we can see that it is indeed going to cut one single straight line. Let's go back to the design page and increase the point thickness here. We can use the arrows or we can enter a number, but as I hold this arrow key up, you can see that the line definitely does get thicker and it actually looks like a rounded rectangle at this point. But if you go up to the send panel, you can see that this is still going to cut one single straight horizontal line. It's not going to cut around the edge, it's just going to cut straight down the middle because this is still a line. Now, if you were to print this out, it would print and look like the thick rounded rectangle. But for it to cut, it's going to cut right in the middle of that. Now we also have Let's draw out another line. We also have our line styles over here. And you can see that if you click on any one of these, it's going to change the regular line into a decorative line. And when you increase the thickness, the shape becomes more pronounced. You can see it a little bit better. Now let's go up to the send panel. And again, it is only going to cut a single straight line right down the center. This shape will print, but it will not cut. If you need for this shape to cut, you're going to want to select your trace area in the trace panel, draw out your tracing box and let it trace that shape. We can click on trace, pull the original away, and now you can see that we have the cut lines for the actual shape. In the send page, here we have the shape that will cut out. Here we have the single line that will cut out. One last thing with the line tool, let's drag that across. This time we're going to look at these types of lines. You can either have a solid line or you can have a dashed line. These are mostly used for perforations in projects where you don't have an embossing tool to create your score lines. So let's just click on this one. You can see that the line does in fact become a dashed line here in appearance. And if you go up to the send panel, it's also going to cut as a dashed line. So to wrap things up, if you draw a single line, if your line thickness is set to 0, 0.00, nothing is going to print. If you're using this in a print and cut, you will not see this line at all. The minute you thicken it up at all, this line will print. Let's set that back to zero. Even though it's not going to print, it will cut. If you want a thicker line to print, you can adjust the arrows even further still it's just going to cut a single line. The different shaped lines, same thing as the thicker line. If you want the shape to cut, you have to trace. But if you create a dashed line, a dotted line, whatever you like to call it, that will cut out that way. So these adjust the cuts, these adjust appearances, and the line thickness determines whether or not it will print and the appearance of the printed image. Hope that helps.